I'm Kurt Loder, this is MTV News. Odorous Urungus, the lead singer of that band from hell, Guar, was arrested on Tuesday night at the 4808 Club in Charlotte, North Carolina, in the heart of Jesse Helms' land. Mr. Urungus was busted for what police seemed to feel were onstage depictions of anal sex, masturbation, and, quote, the excretory function. The singer's fake two-foot penis was taken from him and confiscated as state's evidence. Guar had played the same club last February without incident, but Fred Mills, a writer at the local paper Creative Loafing, says police may have been sensitized to obscenity issues by the recent announcement of a two-live crew show in the area. Also arrested Tuesday night were the promoter of the show and a spectator who, according to Mills, was thrown to the ground, beaten with a flashlight, and charged with inciting to riot when he protested the arrest of Odorous Urungus. The singer is free on $3,000 bail right now, and he will be appearing with Guar when the group plays the Tattoo Festival in New Orleans on Friday night. A hearing in the North Carolina case will be held in about a month. If you'd like to see Guar in action, but would rather not risk getting arrested to do so, you can soon check out the group in the privacy of your own home, while that's still legal, with the upcoming Guar home video called Live from Antarctica. It's due out the day before Halloween. One year ago, the rock group Nine Inch Nails set Chicago police and the FBI off on a wild goose chase that came to an end only last week. Last September, the band was shooting a video for a song called Down In It in an alley in North Chicago when the aerial camera they were using, attached to four helium-filled balloons, broke loose from its moorings. It eventually landed in a cornfield in rural Burr Oak, Michigan, 125 miles away, and the farmer who found it turned it over to local police. When the film was developed, it showed, among other things, a cross made out of Christmas tree lights and two skinheads standing over what appeared to be a decomposing dead body in an alley. Watching this footage, the police thought they'd stumbled upon graphic evidence of a ritual murder, and even the television show Unsolved Mysteries expressed interest in the case. The FBI was called in and proceeded to consult five different experts on satanic rituals, while a special photographic unit scrutinized the film for clues. These experts eventually decided that the evidence of decay on the alleged corpse was in fact nothing more than cornstarch, and so they started calling around to the film departments of various Chicago area colleges. Finally, last week, a former student at the Art Institute of Chicago explained to him that it was all a setup he'd helped to shoot for the Nine Inch Nails video. And the dead man was, in fact, group leader Trent Reznor, who, according to his record company, is still very much alive. That's the news for now. Be sure to tune in The Week in Rock this weekend, Saturday at 6 p.m., Sunday at 1 and 6.30, with lots of hot news stories on MC Hammer, Billy Idol, and the legendary Jimi Hendrix. We'll see you then.